Hello friends, hope everyone's doing well. So today I got another survivor trial for you. It's only gonna be one trial today, just because I thought this was a really good one. The killer in this one played very well. If I'm being completely honest, it was a slaughter fest for us. We still managed to get a decent amount of gens done, and we actually managed to keep the killer busy for a certain amount of time. I'm a little surprised the killer didn't do better. I think he played phenomenally, but I think that what really helped us out is the map that we were on, which is the game, as you can see by Steve sending us there. The killer had an amazing build that worked really well for the game. So again, I'm really surprised that the killer kind of didn't really do better, or slaughter us, at least a little more effectively. Not trying to undermine how he played. He played very well. Our teammates also played very well. They're all pretty focused on generators and helping each other out, which I can respect a lot. I think with the build I brought today as well was pretty helpful, except for one of my perks. Unfortunately, the killer we went up against actually countered my perk very well, and I'll talk more about that in just a moment. It gave me something to think about when it comes to playing against Singularity and how he kind of like deals with pallets whenever you have like a pot on you. And after this trial, it's actually uh, inspired me to actually play Singularity myself, so I do have a video of that. I'll hopefully be out soon, but I'm very excited to get the get through the editing process on that one. Alrighty, let's get into our perks. So the perks I'm bringing today is Chemical Trap, Empathy, Kindred, and Botany Knowledge. So the first perk is Chemical Trap. Any single time you do at least 50% of a generator's progress, Chemical Trap will activate. And next time you, that there is a dropped pallet, you can put the trap on top of the pallet. And whenever the killer breaks it, the trap itself will explode, causing the killer to be 50% hindered for 4 seconds. This perk's really good when it comes to like making distance. Let's say you're kind of like in a dead zone, you have one pallet, you just pre-drop it, put the trap on it. You can either play around the pallet if the killer doesn't want to break it, or if they do break it, you can just, you know, run to the next loop or try to make as much distance as possible. It's an okay perk. I don't use it too often, but I kind of just want to test it out to kind of see like how valuable it could be. And playing as a singularity, we barely got any value from it just because he's able to break pallets so easily, so we didn't have enough time to pre-drop and then place a, uh, a trap. But it's okay, it happens. Next perk we have is empathy. Any single time a survivor is injured, you will see their auras in yellow within 128 meters, basically the whole entire map size. I've never seen a map where I haven't been able to see somebody with empathy that wasn't caused by like, you know, a perk afflicting blindness on me. This is a really good perk on keeping track of where survivors are, especially if you have a kind of like a healing build dedicated around to like keeping survivors like, you know, healthy the whole entire time, which we have another perk to help us out with that. But it's really helpful to kind of know also where the killer is. Let's say the killer is chasing a survivor, you know which one it is. If you want to avoid them or try to help them out, you can definitely tell because they're running in whatever direction. If they're injured, you can see them. You know, if they're like dead on hook and you haven't been hooked yet, you can go in for the rescue to try to t take a hit for them. That or just try to get the killer's attention. Either that or if they're running to you, if you're dead on hook, you can definitely avoid the situation by just pre-running away. I really do like empathy whenever I'm playing by myself. It's just so helpful to know where everyone is. We also have another perk that's also pretty good for solo queue is Kindred. Anytime a survivor is put on the hook, if the killer is standing within 60 meters of the hook, you can see his aura, and it also highlights every other survivor that's in the map. And if a survivor has Kindred and they're put on the hook, the same effects apply to every survivor. So say I'm on the hook, every survivor can see the killer's aura within 16 meters, and they can all see each other. This perk's very helpful on getting information of where the killer's going next. So let's say like if uh, my teammate gets hooked and I kind of see they're heading towards me and I'm on a generator, I know I can kind of get off the generator and start walking away to try to make some distance that are just hide. And same when it comes to if I'm put on the hook, survivors can see where the kind of where the killer's going and they can kind of, you know, make a decision to either stay on the gen or to make distance. Also with being able to see every single survivor, it can also tell you kind of, hey, I'm on a gen, my teammate's on a gen, they're kind of closer. If they go for the rescue, I don't have to get off my gen. So that helps out a lot, kind of like, you know, not waste time for two people to kind of rescuing the same person on the hook. I love Kindred so much. I think it's one of my favorite survivor perks out of like all time. Information is everything and knowing where the killer is going and who's going for the rescue and stuff like that is very helpful because I'd much rather have one survivor go for the rescue and then the other one be working on their gen. It also adds a lot more pressure to the killer because you know, one person was focusing on a gen, one's going for the rescue, everyone's kind of doing their own thing. And having everyone focusing on objectives is of course the main goal of the game and can be very scary for the killer. So if you have teammates that know how to use Kindred pretty well, it can be very scary for the killer just because you know, all the survivors will be as efficient as possible. All right, the next perk we have is Botany Knowledge. This increases your healing speed just in general by 50%. If you use a med kit, it actually reduces the effectiveness of it by 20%. So it's good just to heal with your hands. Another perk I really do like, being able to heal survivors really fast is so useful and also adds a lot more pressure to the killer because the best thing you can do against the killer is to heal. Unless you're going up against like a nurse or blight, it's pretty good to heal most of the time. So that's our build. Perks I really like to use is Empathy, Kindred, and Bonnie Knowledge. I like to change my fourth perk a lot just to kind of chest out new things. So these kind of three perks are kind of the staple of what I normally use. And I'm also bringing the Worn Out Toolbox, Clean Rag, and Scraps. Scraps increases our toolbox repair speed by 20%, and the scraps increases our charges by 8, just to help me out with getting generators done. We don't really need a med kit because botany knowledge will kind of get rid of the effectiveness of it, so. And yeah, that's basically it. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, Gideon Meat Plant. So, somebody sent us here, one of our teammates did. Gives me the creeps. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel that, my friend. There is a gen right here. Singularity? This is a good map for him. He's got his cool skin. This is a really good map for him. A lot of openness. It's been a long time since I've played against Singularity. This will be fun. 
Hi, Steve. My voice cracked horribly there. So my voice could be cracking today. Gosh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, search. This is a really, this is a really good situation for uh, for the singularity. All right, that's okay. Let's see what we can do. He's coming back to us. No, he's making some distance. He's gone. Who's coming back now? Painteress. We gotta go, Steve. 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 Ooh, spin burst. Uh, no pop. Okay. Ooh, he tried. Alright. Alright, he made some distance. Let's assist. I think. That's a very interesting spot for a pod. Oh, he picked up. I didn't even notice. I was too worried about the pod. It's okay, thing. It happens. Oh, oh, that was a oh, good shot. Very unfortunate, though. I need to break line of sight as much as I can. Ooh, I'm making mistakes. It's okay. Just kicking the gen. Is there any pods in here? Doesn't look like it. Hi, Steve. Hope you're doing well. Tal till finish. Oh, not good, not good. Oh, he's on Steve. That's really unfortunate. Um, can I get an EMP and try to EMP him? That's very unfortunate. I'm gonna hold on to this for just a moment. I should probably just use it now, huh? Actually, wait, hold on. We'll use it, um... Over here. Hello. I think it's chasing Fang. We got just a moment. We can go for Steve. That's not good. Okay. Uh, Fang's going for the rescue. Let's hope he doesn't come back. Okay, she's over there. Look how fast that is, jeez. Steve, okay. Sorry, Fang, we gotcha. Oh no. He's gonna be following Steve. Don't like that. Uh, she has an EMP. We can hit you really fast. Could on Botany to help us out with this. Unfortunately, I think Steve's going down. Better challenge him at least. <sighs> Poor Jen. Oh no, okay. Hi. Let's try to break distance. I have an idea. That did not work. At least he's slowed down. Oh, I'm so sorry, Fang. I didn't know you were here. Oh, Fang, you need to run. Not good. At least he's up. Ooh. At least he slowed down in that sense. Okay, he's, he's leaving her good. Okay, they're both down there. I need to try to... Good try. Good try. <laughs> She's trying, Fang. Or Fang. He's trying to uh, wake. Good voice actor for Wake, honestly. He's, he's done a really good job. In uh, both Alan Wake 2 and this. I'm not too sure if he played as the original Wake in the first game. I, I hope so, because I like the first game too. Ooh. I'm worried for Fang. But she has she has a decent amount of pallets, but the thing is we're kind of running out of pallets. It looks like Talitha's coming to get us. Uh, that's out of surge range. 
I, I guess not. He'll finish it. Hello. Okay, um, we got a gen behind me, but this is a pod up there, which is a little bit concerning. Good job, Steve. Thank you for finishing that. Oh, that's not good. Thank you. Uh, he's right there. I'll be she swung a little too early, I think. I can get her teammate, no worries. Ooh. He found an EMP at least. She's trying to take hits for him. It's kind of her. There's a pod somewhere. That's unfortunate. Sorry, Steve. I'm gonna take an EMP for later. Okay, he's looking over here towards this gen. It's underneath us, okay. Uh, he's heading to Talata, which is unfortunate. Hopefully she's able to make some distance before. We can hide. Ooh, good job on the pod placement. Is this in range? We have an EMP here, so. Even if anything, she has a two, uh, she's running away from it. She has two pallets back there by a uh, basement. One problem is by basement. Kind of in middle near the staircase. Nothing. Uh, thing that's a bit of a waste, but it's all right. We got this one behind us too, but I can take care of it. At least I have an EMP still. Uh, there goes one of the pallets that's by basement. She still has the other one. They said I wasn't paying attention if she dropped it. She has that window still. She's doing very well. It scared me. Oh, he's running out. Okay, that's good. We'll get this done. Thank you, Talta. You, you gave us uh, one gen's worth. I appreciate that. I'm sorry, I think I'm glitching into you. Okay, he is coming this way. I might be going up the stairs. I'm not too sure. Broke a door. Uh, I need to go around. Oh, no, we got her here. Okay, he's back on her. I need to wait. Just putting a pot in there. Like, chill. Let's try to go see if I can get his attention. Ah, that's very unfortunate. Oh, uh, well played to him. I, I played that horribly. I should have, uh, I should have been around the corner for him to even, like, hit me with a pod and then EMP myself. That, that was definitely my fault. Taking me away from basement, which is interesting. Ooh. This guy's very good with Singularity, honestly. Well played to him. Who does he want? Looks like Talta, I think. I think he needs to be a bit careful. Thank you. Ooh, that scared me. We'll make it on Fang, which is awesome. Let's see if he knows we're here. Ooh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Terrifying. Okay, um, let's work on this. Oh, he's he found us. Oh, geez, this guy's really good with singularity, man. I'm assuming he's on PC. Because, um... Playing singular on console is extremely difficult. Oh, the pod's gone, okay. I don't know where he is. <laughs> He's checking through pods right now. 
Can I make it to an EMP? If we can get upstairs, we can. We're kind of at a dead zone, though. Oh, hello. Ooh, don't mind me. Let's pod there. We can EMP ourselves. I really hope it doesn't switch to that one. Can I hold it? Yeah, I can. Good timing on our part. Dang, man. Alright. I think that was a miss. I can't put the trap on. Please don't tell me there's a pod down here. Let's run to the window. I don't think we're gonna make it out of this. Nope. 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 Oh, we tried. <laughs> Fang just fine, Hatch. Uh. Okay. Fang needs to be extremely careful. I think he wants a 4K. Maybe it does what I do. Instead of ulting over the window, it goes all the way around. Because I do that crap all the time. I don't know why. Does he know where Fang is? Right, we start crawling over there, I guess. I've not been able to use my chemical trap once. This part kind of sucks, to be honest. It's not the greatest. I'm gonna crawl this way and make him think I'm like... Hi. Ooh, careful, Fang. I think he knows where she is. Oh, maybe not. He's right there. Hi, Fang. I'm trying not to get her infected. Oh my gosh. I don't think we have anything. He lost us for a second. We need to get rid of this. Oh, he found Fang. That's not good. Please... Don't go to that pod. We're good. This guy really wants a 4K. Okay, I have an idea. I need to get an EMP. I need to uh, go for Fang. Wish you could drop a pallet without making like too much noise. Kinda worried where the killer is. I don't Is he in his pod? She's saying no. I'm uh, is he on top of her probably? You should kinda come to be Fang if you can. He can hear out of uh, or pods, so I need to be careful. Sorry, Fang. Oh my gosh, I found it. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Fang. Oh, yeah. That was rough. Well played to this killer. Hit save. I don't see that too often. Hit rapid, which is really good. Who is that on? I'm curious. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is pretty good odds for him. I don't play Singularity too often. Uh, he was on a different console, so I'm assuming he was on PC. I'll play to everyone, though. They try their best. Sorry about Steve. He's the one, Actually, it makes sense. He's the one that brought us there, so it's... It's kind of funny how that worked. 
Fighters included. This guy had a really good build for the game. Like, this is like, like this, this and this work really well together. I don't think, besides Surge, I don't think we guess any of this, any more of his perks. But, yeah, we'll play to everyone. We'll play to the killer, too. He, he played really well. Well, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said before, the killer and the survivors in this one played very well. They all tried their best. The killer did really good, too. And this actually inspired me to actually play Singularity again, because he's, he's a pretty fun killer. He's just a lot to really learn, and when it compares to, like, most killers, you kind of put in a lot more effort. But still, he's a lot of fun. Also, when I talk about using his ability, like, it's easier on PC, that's just from personal experience. I still think there are good console players out there that can play a Singularity, but for me personally, the most times I have played as him, it's been extremely difficult to kind of switch to a pod, look around relatively quickly, tag a survivor, and then go from there. But I still like him a lot. All right, let's talk about the build we brought. So, like I said before, when it comes to Chemical Trap, we didn't get to use it once just because, you know, the Singularity kept teleporting to a, onto us whenever we dropped a pallet. What I could have done is maybe got rid of the pod, then try to use Chemical Trap, but honestly, there was a lot of situations where if I was near a pallet, he would just switch to his pod. So, I mean, well played to him. He played this very well when it came to kind of countering this. I don't think he meant to. I don't think he even knew we even had it. But yeah, honestly, that's something to think about with Singularity is that you don't really give the survivor enough time to really put a trap on the pallet. We used empathy very well, we were able to know where everyone was when it came to them being injured. We were able to heal a couple of survivors with botany as well, and also when it came to Kindred, we were able to get all of our value off of it. Which is, I don't know if that's a really good thing, because all of our survivors basically died. Except for me, I was actually able to get out. The max amount of value you can get off of Kindred is actually 12, but at that point, you're the last one to be put on the hook, so you don't really get the last bit of value. So it's kind of like Pop. Pop, you get the most value you can get out of is 11, because at 12, the trial is basically over. But I think it was the MVP perk of this whole entire trial, just because we were able to tell where the killer was going every single time. And also, the game, Kindred, also works through levels as well. So if the killer's above the hook, you can still kind of see them within those 16 meters. So that's very helpful as well. We were able to see that when Steve was dead on hook. We were able to kind of tell the singularity was downstairs at that point, and where he was heading to next. So I really do like Kindred a lot. We are able to use our toolbox effectively as well, just be able to burn right through it, able to get through the couple surges that the generator hit. So that was pretty useful as well. And I think this is an overall good trial. Survivors tried their best. The killer did amazing, especially the Singularity, which I think probably the game is probably one of his best maps. Their wombs are so open, so you're just able to like shoot a pod like above them, especially if they're playing around a pallet. Tag them, and then if they ever end up dropping the pallet, you can just, you know, use your ability just to get through it. I think the only reason why we were able to survive as long as we did is just because every survivor kept him busy with how many pallets are on the map. So even if we were dropping a bunch of them, there's still so many that it still like hindered him so that's something i guess but yeah again well played to everyone i had a lot of fun in this trial hope they did too it's also a plus i was able to learn a couple new things when it comes to playing against the singularity i don't really play as him at least against him too often so it was a little bit of practice for me just to kind of get in the rhythm of playing against him again but i definitely have a lot to work on when it comes to that just because uh, i made a lot of mistakes and i really hope someone was able to learn from this trial and hopefully I'll be able to learn from my mistakes and hopefully not make them in the future. And yeah, again, I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. I try to post whenever I can. And if you like the video, leave a like. Help support the channel. Check out my Instagram, link in the description. I just post updates on there whenever I'm uploading. And I really hope to see all of you in the next one. Stay safe out there, friends.